Hello everyone, Soprano Theories here and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. Before we get started, be sure to click subscribe and click the bell to get notifications on all upcoming Sopranos content. And be sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram as well as check out some Soprano Theories' merchandise, all links will be linked below. By the fourth season of The Sopranos, fans have come to know and love Tony Soprano as a murderer, a liar, a cheater, a sociopath, and an individual who is filled with greed by only looking out for himself and not necessarily helping others. But in the 11th episode of season 4, Calling All Cars, we see a different version of Tony Soprano that we have all come to know and love. Rather than him being his usual self and a complete jerk and a sociopath, he comes to terms with himself that he's just a Come on, I'm a fat fucking crook from New Jersey. However, it's within this episode where Tony feels as if he has no control for once in his life. The reasoning for Tony feeling this way is because of a bizarre dream that starts the episode off. A dream that has his wife, Carmela, in total control, with her being in the driver's seat. The dream also features two people who Tony has recently lost. That and Gloria and Ralph make an appearance. The feeling of Tony having no control is odd and unusual. It's a different feeling than what he's been accustomed to for most of his life, as he's usually in control with him being the boss of the family, thus resulting in Tony feeling no control in this situation. The episode focuses also on Janice pushing Bobby away from his deceased wife, but let's not focus on that, as that isn't the focus of this video. Like I said, the episode begins with Tony having a strange dream. By now, fans have been pretty accustomed to Tony having these bizarre dreams, as they'll later occur more and more as the show continues. The dream consists of Tony being in the back seat of his father's Cadillac. Ralph, who Tony had just whacked two episodes prior, is in the passenger seat with a caterpillar on his head. Carmela is driving the car, as this is a metaphor of her being in control. It's almost as if David Chase was foreshadowing to us that Carmela was going to be in total control of a situation coming up in the series. Maybe perhaps the divorce situation that was coming in the last episode of the season. With every individual that is featured in the car during his dream, Tony ironically had no control over and all are connected to Tony in some way. But specifically, Ralph and Gloria, as Tony was primarily involved in the passing of both. With Ralph, he couldn't contain himself when he was killing him as his intentions when he went and visited Ralph probably wasn't necessarily to kill him right away. And when it comes to Gloria, he had no control over her death. While he may have been the reasoning for Gloria taking her own life, he couldn't do anything to stop it. And with Svetlana, he couldn't get a hold of himself and control his emotions when he cheated on Carmela with her during an afternoon. The next scene shows Tony and Dr. Melfi discussing the dream. Dr. Melfi states that whatever has happened with the two women in the car, that Tony has to come clean about it with Carmela. Ironically, with Svetlana, she ultimately finds out the hard way at the very end of the season, and the two getting a divorce in Whitecaps. But with Gloria, Carmela can never find out about. Coincidentally, she almost does with Gloria driving her home one day and Gloria calling the house about a new car. As we saw earlier in the episode, that Dr. Melfi was implying to Tony that whatever happened with Svetlana and Tony needs to get brought up to Carmela as almost a way of cleansing Tony. And throughout the series, we constantly saw Tony break it off with his mistresses. However, in this case, it's Svetlana breaking it off with Tony. And Tony is doing everything he can to try and continue the relationship, but Svetlana is having nothing to do with it. Once the phone call is over, we can see a visibly upset Tony and he is distraught. Hysterically, in the very next scene, we see that Tony lies as per usual to Dr. Melfi and tells her that he was the one who broke it off at Svetlana when it was the other way around. But this gets to Tony and he later confesses to Dr. Melfi that he got pushed away. It's here where Tony finally comes to his realization. Not his realization that he's going to die that we've discussed in previous episodes and thoroughly on this channel, but his realization that he's a miserable prick and has no interest in changing. Whether this is done by hurting his family, friends, loved ones around him, with his constant lying, cheating, manipulative ways, and of course his murder. When we think back to the beginning of the episode, Dr. Melfi stated a Freud quote, that dreams are wishes. Ironically, the episode begins ends with a dream, and ends with the same dream that Tony, Carmela, Gloria, Svetlana, and Ralph arrive at their destination. That of course being a big white house that we would later see later on in the series with Tony coming out of his coma. Here, Tony is this Italian immigrant who is also a bricklayer. The entire scenario could possibly be reassessing what Svetlana said earlier in the series. 
that nowhere in the world do people expect to be happy but in America. And that when Tony looks at an individual like Svetlana, someone who he called dirt poor, works for a living, doesn't have a care in the world, which are all the complete opposite of Tony, and are all traits that represent Tony in this dream of him as an immigrant, this dream could be sensing that maybe all the depression and anxiety that Tony has and has developed in his life, as a result of his high stress work life, could have simply gone away if Tony wasn't a mobster. But also the fact that it all could have gone away if his mother wasn't around. We can see that his mother still cast a haunting shadow over his life. Because in the dream, we see the silhouette of this lady who eerily resembles his deceased mother. After the dream, Tony wakes up. He's hot, sweaty, and heads to the bathroom, where he's accompanied by a red light in the bathroom, where he later heads out to the balcony where he is startled by a bright light. This symbolizes that Tony is in a struggle between heaven and hell. And that no matter what he does, even if he tries hard to be a better individual, he'll likely end up in hell. Of course, these dream sequences are just for interpretation. There's no right or wrong answer when it comes to these dream sequences. That's what makes them so special and so unique. While it's a bit of a slow burn of an episode, it's brilliant and displays powerful imagery. Do you agree with this analyzation? What do you think? Let me know down in the comment section below. For more Sopranos content, keep it locked here, right here on this channel.